For the third straight game, the Ohio Bobcats offense put up over 40 points, this time in route to a 45-28 win over the Miami Red Hawks in the Battle of the Bricks on Halloween. What's up, Bobcat fans? I'm WOEB sports reporter Thomas Govrick coming to you from Keene Stadium. And tonight, Nathan Mork was a human highlight reel. Nathan Mork. What else can you say about this guy other than he has a knack for finding the end zone? He lived up to the billing to Air Canada as he was cooking early, throwing a strike to Brennan Cope for his first passing touchdown of the night. After the offense got off to a blistering start, the Cats defense did its part. Javon Hagen made a juggling interception and Jalen Fox picked off Billy Ball to help the Cats win the turnover battle. And so Rourke went back to work. Dynamic with his legs as any quarterback in the country, he continued to put sixes on the board. But Tuesday night, it was all about Rourke's arm, and he connected with Poppy White on a beautiful back shoulder throw to put the Cats up two scores late in the first half. Rourke talked about how the offense reached new heights in the win. No, I mean, we knew that we were capable of, of being able to really open it up in the past game. We just, we just really haven't got it going in the last couple of games. You know, Bowling Green was a big, was a big example of that. This man, James Garner, kept the Red Hawks in it for most of the night. The Bobcats secondary has been lackluster in taking away the opponent's top receiving threat, and that proved to be the case again. Garner had a field day. He had seven catches for 105 yards and two touchdowns in the first half alone. Backup quarterback Billy Ball knew the only way to stay in the game was to feed number 81 the ball, and he did just that. Garner finished with a monster stat line of 10 grabs for a buck 66 and two scores, but the defense clamped down in the fourth as he was held catchless. But time and time again, when the Bobcats needed to play, Rourke delivered. He threw for 294 yards and scored all six Bobcat touchdowns, both career highs. The Canadian is now up to 29 touchdowns on the season, 17 of those coming on the ground, which are the second most in a single season. The Bobcats are back in action next Wednesday when they host the Toledo Rockets in Peen Stadium with kickoff set for 7 p.m. For WOUB Sports, I'm Thomas Garbrick.